Hi, this is Jericho, your new demography teacher, and today we're going to talk about the factors affecting the population. We'll find out how the uh, population decreases and how they increase. First in our list, we have the three factors affecting the population. They are called natality, fecundity, and fertility. So how does they differ to each other? First, we have the natality. What do you mean by natality? Natality is described as the ratio of the birth rates to the number of the specific population. Let's take for example in the Philippines. The natality of the Philippines is 19 birth rate or 19 births per 1000 women or one. Next we have the fecundity. Fecundity is described the ability of the women to bear a child or it is more focused on the physiological aspects of the women. And lastly we have the fertility. Fertility is described as the overall performance of the fecundity and the natality. Fertility encompasses the two different aspects. First, the social aspects, and lastly, the physiological aspects of a woman. The next factors affecting the population is the immigration. So what is immigration, and how does it affect the population of a certain area? So immigration is defined as the process by which people migrate or move from one place to another. So why do people migrate? There are many factors why people migrate from one country to another country. First is the uh, lack of opportunities in certain area. And political instability, which results to unstable governments that uh, leads people to migrate from one place to another. Other from that, uh, we have the health issues, the security issues. If the country has high crime rates, and lastly, the environmental issues. We have the age structure. Age structure refers to the distribution of individuals' different age structure. Let's say, for example, from 0 to 10, 10 to 20. It reflects the mortality and the natality of that age structure. So what are the factors affecting the age structures? From what I mentioned, the um, environmental issues, which result to mortality rates, the fertility and fecundity of a specific area and the migratory of individual which results to lessen or increasing in the population of a specific area. Lastly, we have the education and how does education affect the population of a certain area? There are many reasons for that. First, education helps delay the childbirth and how? Through family planning and they learn family planning through education. And in terms of mortality, education also helps uh, maintaining the increasing age structure of a community. How? Because uh, when you are educated, you tend to avoid any harmful things that can lead you to death. I think that's all for today's lesson. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.